Good afternoon. Thank you for choosing Bank of America Small Business. My name is Jaime. How can I help you? Yes, I have a problem. You just cost me $6,000. May I have your account number, please? $6,000. I do apologize for that. Uh, may I have your account number so I can see what's going on? My name is Richard Roma. Do you have an account number, sir? No. Tax ID number? Yes. I'm waiting for your tax ID number, sir. $6,000 and one catalog. Would you like me to help you with your account, uh, Mr. Roma? Yes. May I have your tax ID number, please? No. Did you hear what I said? You just cost me $6,000. You told me close this and so you get the car. I'm sorry, sir. Let me let me uh, refer you to a supervisor. Shit. Fuck. 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 Please hold while I connect to you. For quality Fuck you. purposes, your call may be recorded. Fuck you. Thank you for calling, Bank of America. My name is Daniel. How may I help you? Yes, I have a problem. You just cost me six thousand dollars. Did you hear I'm sorry, what I, I can't said? Hear you. Six thousand dollars. Did you hear what I said? No, I can't hear you. You sound muffled. Yes. Can you repeat your question? You just cost me six thousand dollars. Okay, I'll be glad to go ahead and look into your account. May I have your account number, please? What are you going to do about it? Well, I'll start by looking at your account number. May I have your account number, please? You know me. I'm sorry? My name is Richard Roma. Okay, well, you just called customer service, sir. So for me to be able to help That's you, you right. have to provide me with your account number. Yes. Do you Richard have your account Roma. number, sir? Ricky Roma. Hello, sir? Yes. Do you have your account number, please? No. Okay, do you have your social security number or tax ID number to look up your account? I don't know. Okay, well, you would have to call back once you have your account number, your social security number, or tax ID, so that way we can look at your account and see what's going on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Shit. $6,000. I, I heard what you said, sir, but for me to be able to help you, you have to provide me with some information on your account. So if you don't have that, I would recommend that you call us back once you have that information. I can't. Okay, well, I'm not able to assist you, sir, if you don't have your account information. Whoever told you that you could work with men? Whoever told you what, I'm sorry? What? You can't do what? Okay, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to call back once you have your account number or your tax ID number, social security number, so that way we can look up your account. With what, John? With what? With your social security number, tax ID number, or your account number. That's how we no. can locate your information. No. What do you mean, no, sir? You have to call yeah. back once you have that information. John! If you don't have that, I can't help you. Talk about a fucking beat. All right, sir, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the call. Give us a call back once you have that information, okay? You're very. Thank Fuck you. you. For calling Bank of America, my name is Jordan. May I have your first and last name, please? My name is Richard Roma. Thank you very much. What can I help you with today, Mr. Rump? You just cost me $6,000. Hello? Did you hear what I said? I'm, I'm having a difficult time hearing you, sir. I'm sorry. Can you please repeat $6,000. The Bank of America cost you $6,000? Yes. For what? Don't fuck with me, fella. I'm talking about a fucking Cadillac car that you owe me. You told me close this and so you get the car. I'm sorry, sir, but um, if, if you could just talk about this, I'd be more than happy to help you out, but we, we need to keep the conversation professional so we can go ahead and, and get this resolved. You're right. Oh, Christ, I'm sorry. So, if I'm, it's something with a car? Yes. So, what, what happened to the car? One point, in fact, of which I spoke to you of which I can't talk to you about it here. What you're hired for is to help us. Does that seem clear to you? To help us, I... not to fuck us up. To I'm help sorry, men sir, who are I going out there to try to earn a living, to use you profanity. You company man. Oh, Christ, I'm sorry. If you please. Sir, I'm, I'm very unclear on what you're talking about. $6,000. How did we cost you $6,000? Fuck you! You owe me the car! Sir, 
I hope you ripped the joint. Do you have a checking or savings account that I can help you with today? To catch you. You want to push me to answer you. Who is this? My name is Jordan. I'm a checking and savings associate with Banks America. I'm I would love to help you out today, but I need a clear understanding of what's going on here. What is this? Your farewell speech? Hello. Is there something that I can help you with today, sir? Yes. You just cost me six thousand dollars. The one that has with a car? Is it with a loan that you had? Yes. yes. Okay, well, I'd be more than happy to get you the number to somebody in the loan department. I'm in checking and savings. I don't know anything about your loan. Yes. You're right. Okay. Would you like the number to the loan department? Yes. Okay, just a moment here, sir. Okay, their phone number is 1 800. I have a problem. Six thousand dollars i understand that sir if this is regarding a loan you'll need to get in contact with our loan department so they can look into that for you what? i don't have any background on information on your loan what did you hear, you hear what me? i said six thousand dollars sir i have no idea what this is even in regards to i'm not in the loan department i don't know what happened so you get the car Sir, I am not going to continue this conversation if you continuously use vulgar profanity. You're more than welcome to call that number. However, I'm not going to continue this conversation if you cannot talk in a civil manner. You stupid fucking cunt. You know what? I'd be more than happy to go ahead and connect you over to my supervisor. That's right. Are you and Jenny going to be home tonight? Uh, all right, sir. Are you still with me? Yes. Thank you so much for your patience. I do have my supervisor, Daniel, on the other line here. We'd be more than happy to go ahead and discuss this with you. I don't have anybody. Hello, yes. my name is Daniel. I'm a supervisor here at Bank of America. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you're calling in regards today. So you just to cost me $6,000. $6,000. Yes. Okay. Is this, where, where, what about the $6,000? You told me close thus and so you get the car. One I'm sorry, sir, you're being, I can't understand what you're saying, it's unintelligible. Don't fuck with me, fella, I'm talking about a fucking Cadillac car that you owe me. You told me, close thus and so you get the car. Fuck you, you owe me the car. All right, well, thank you for calling Bank of America. We will not be assisting you if you continue using that language. Oh, Christ, I'm sorry. I have a problem. You're calling today about a loan of $6,000 to do with a Cadillac? Yes. Okay, and what happened with your loan? One point, in fact, of which I spoke to you of which, I can't talk to you about it here. What you're hired for is to help us. Does that seem clear to you? To help I, us? I, I have no idea what you're referring to. You haven't really explained anything to me. Uh, the only thing you said, you're calling about a loan to do with a yes. Cadillac and $6,000. Yes. Now, did that loan not go through? Was the loan rejected? Was there a late payment? What happened? I don't know. Okay. Well, then what we can do is we can get you in contact with the loans department. They can look at your information, see what they have on record for a loan for you, and see what's going on with that. Would you like us to get you in contact with the loans department? Yes. Excellent. May I place you on brief hold while I connect you? The question was, can I put you on a brief hold while I connect you? No. Okay, then if you're not going to put you on a brief loan, then we're not going to, if you're not going to put you on a brief hold, and I do apologize, there's no way for me to get you in contact with the loans department. You company man! Oh, what a big man you are! Hey, let me buy you a pack of gum, I'll show you how to chew it. You know your business, I know mine. Your business is being an asshole. Are you using one of those things that you find on the internet? Excellent. And your name again, please, sir? My name is Richard Roma. Thank you, Mr. Roma. Be a few moments here. All right, just give me a few moments here. And I'm going to look at everything here for you, Mr. Roma. Forget the deal. The deal is dead. Excellent. I'm definitely glad to hear that. Fuck you. It's okay, though. I'm more than happy to stay in the line with you, Mr. Roma. Yes. Let me go ahead and find some more information about the keys that you're hitting on your computer. Let's just be a brief moment. Hey, you stupid fucking cunt. You idiot. Okay. Now, I'll definitely, I do understand you like to call yourself and be unprofessional with your keyboard there. Fuck. Um, but definitely... Fuck. No problem. Oh, what a big man you are! Oh, definitely. I'm still here. You can get a different key. It'll be just one moment. 
Where did you learn your trade, you stupid fucking cunt, you idiot? Excellent. Can you hear a different key on the keyboard for me now? Yes. Talk about Excellent. a fucking beat. You try a different one. You know E-bombs world? My dick's on fire. Excellent. I had coffee with Macaulay half an hour ago. He's an absentee landlord. He's laughing his sick fucking ass off. He's a tight ass. He's a sadist. Yeah, I'm surprised it took so long. They're actually the first person that ever hooked that up for me here. Yes. Surprised for that. I thought more people would do that more often. That's right. You want to Excellent. push me to answer you? I'll okay. call back later. Okay, no problem. You can call back later. Um, but I'll stand the line. I won't hang up on you or anything like that. What is this? Your farewell speech? No, I wasn't hanging up, so it wasn't my farewell speech. I want to learn the later. first rule. What was your name again? Richard Romas, you said? Richard Roma. Roma, Roma, sorry about that. I didn't mean to put that A there. Did you ever take a dump and made you feel like you just slept for 12 hours? Where were you last night? Is this from the movie Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross? Yes. This is the, the clips from Richard Roma Wants His Car Back audio clip. That's right. Nice. All right. And you got this from E-Bones World? No. YouTube? No. Oh, ah, okay. How are you? Doing quite well. Where were you last night? Okay, as much as I'd love to continue hearing these clips again on the phone, I do apologize. I'm going to disconnect the call. But, hey, um, good job. Hope you have a great day. And uh, have a great time as well. Take Asshole. care. Asshole. No problem.